Moving on. Oh, division. Okay. Well, again, if you don't have your division fact memorized, we're going to find another way to get there. And maybe you don't even like the way this is written. Some of you like it written better this way. Either way, doesn't matter. As long as you remember that multiplication and division are related, such that if 28 divided by something equals 7, then 7 times that something equals 28. Now we can just solve this multiplication fact. Again, let's start with our 7 and just count forward by 7. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Okay, we got there and it took us 1, 2, 3, 4 7s to get there. So my mystery number, not a mystery anymore, it's a 4. So if we know that 7 times 4 is 28, now we know 28 divided by 4 is 7. Fabulous. Who wants to do one more? I thought you did. I do too. Okay, something divided by 5 equals 4. Let's go ahead and rewrite that. 4 times 5 equals something. Great. Now we can work with the multiplication fact. If we don't have it memorized, let's just start with 4, count up, 8, 12, 16, 20. How many did we do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5 4s. 5 4s got us to 20. So this mystery is 20. Okay, now where did this all start? Oh, right, it started with the division, and then we changed it to multiplication, and we solved, and we learned it's 20. Okay, now some of you might be wondering, from the very beginning, when I rewrote that, you might be wondering, is it okay to write this? You're in luck. It is math-mazing.